morning and welcome to Bharat News on Bharat TV. I'm your anchor Deepika Zuchi and here are tonight's top stories. A shooting at Tuskegee University's homecoming has left multiple students injured, raising urgent questions about campus safety. President elect Trump unveils key appointments naming a UN ambassador and border security chief while also mocking at Kamala Harris's campaign debt. Vivek Ramaswamy calls for unity as he defends Trump's immigration plans and a former Harris aide suggests that Biden step down to give Harris a path to the presidency. In Indian news a disturbing development has emerged as a Khalistani terrorist threatens attacks on Hindu temples while security forces neutralize militants in Manipur. Congress suspends rebel candidates before Maharashtra polls and UP police face backlash over a crackdown on student protests. Trump's victory sparks a major Trump Tower expansion in India. Internationally, Bangladesh seeks Interpol's help to repatriate former PM Sheikh Hasina from India to face charges. Let's dive into the details. Tuskegee University shooting leaves students injured during homecoming. Tuskegee University's homecoming celebration took a tragic turn when gunfire erupted, injuring several students in a crowded event on campus. The incident has left the community shaken and raised critical questions about safety protocols at large university events. Local law enforcement is investigating the motive behind the shooting as campus authorities step up security measures. Trump appoints Stefanik as UN ambassador, Homan as border czar in key moves. President elect Donald Trump has made two strategic appointments, choosing New York Congresswoman Elise Stefanik as the new UN ambassador and Tom Homan, a staunch advocate of strict immigration policies known as the border czar. Homan will oversee border security and deportation efforts central to Trump's immigration agenda. while Stefanik's role at the UN comes amid global tensions and conflicts these appointments signal Trump's commitment to bolstering US national security and diplomatic influence Trump mocks Kamala Harris's debt-ridden campaign urges GOP to help them out Following his election victory, Trump took a jab at Kamala Harris's campaign debt of 20 million dollars, suggesting that Republicans should help them out. The comment highlights financial troubles within the Democratic Party following their defeat and draws attention to internal challenges they face in rebuilding strategy and momentum as they navigate a difficult post-election phase. Vivek Ramaswamy calls for unity, supports Trump's immigration reforms. Business leader and Trump ally Vivek Ramaswamy has urged for national unity while defending Trump's immigration policies, which include stricter deportation measures and enhanced border security. Ramaswamy emphasized the importance of a secure and lawful immigration system. positioning Trump's approach as crucial to safeguarding the nation's stability a priority as the new administration prepares to take office ex Harris 8 suggests Biden resign to allow Harris presidency Jamal Simmons a former communications director for Kamala Harris floated the idea of president Biden stepping down to allow Harris to assume the presidency fulfilling her ambition to lead. Simmons framed this as Biden's opportunity to be a transitional president, a move that would mark a historic shift in leadership. Although speculative, the suggestion has gained media attention, highlighting Harris's path forward in an uncertain political landscape. Khalistani terrorists threatens Hindu temples including Ayodhya's Ram Mandir. 
Khalistani terrorist Gurpatpant Singh Pannu has threatened attacks on Hindu temples, including Ayodhya's Ram Mandir, warning he will shake the foundations of this sacred site on November 16th and 17th. Pannu, leader of the band Seeks for Justice group, also threatened Indian diplomats, claiming they will be targeted in Toronto. The video, reportedly recorded in Brampton, Canada, has raised concerns about security and the safety of religious sites. Indian forces neutralize 11 suspected militants in Manipur operation. In a major operation in Manipur, Indian security forces have successfully neutralized 11 suspected militants, targeting insurgent activity in the region. This latest action underscores the government's focus on restoring peace in northeastern India and addressing regional security threats that have persisted amid local unrest and separatist movements. Congress suspends more rebel candidates ahead of Maharashtra elections. As the Maharashtra elections approach, Congress has suspended seven more rebel candidates to strengthen internal cohesion. This action aims to consolidate party unity, counter internal dissidents, and boost their electoral performance amid heightened competition with rival parties in the state. Trump's re-election fuels expansion of Trump Towers in India. With Trump's re-election, a major expansion of Trump Towers is planned in India, signaling growing interest in luxury real estate and increased confidence in the US-India business relations. The Trump brand aims to expand its footprint in key Indian cities, reflecting both rising demand and investor enthusiasm for premium properties in one of the world's fastest growing real estate markets. Bangladesh requests Interpol help to repatriate former PM Hasina from India. Bangladesh's interim government has announced plans to seek Interpol's assistance to repatriate former Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina, who fled to India amid mounting unrest and accusations of human rights violations. Bangladesh alleges Hasina's involvement in the suppression of protests and the call for a red notice to bring her back highlights escalating tensions between Bangladesh and India as the country seeks accountability for its former leaders. And that concludes today's news on Bharat TV. For more updates on these stories and others, visit our website or follow us on social media. I'm Deepika Zucci and we will see you next time.